Scorpio, hi. So uh, this is going to be a reading for April 6th through the 12th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the lovers. Okay, so this is talking to me about possibly a uh, very strong connection that you may have dealt with, that you may still be dealing with. In your recent past, you get the Three of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Page of Cups. Okay, so after, you know, quite some time of just waiting, not doing much. There was a lot of passion, a lot of uh, love going back and forth here. I feel like, I don't even know if it was back and forth. I feel like it all came from you. Not sure how the response was, but I feel like you took a pause for quite some time and then you were like, but I'm still feeling this. So I need to act on it. We'll see what you did back there. Uh, when we clarify, in your current situation, you get the Ten of Wands, the Temperance card, and the Ace of Pentacles. So what's happening for you right now? There's a lot of struggle. You're going through a transformation. Your life is changing. It's never going to look the same again. And that's hard. That's tough. Even when it changes for the better, it's not pleasant, right? You're going through it. What you're not seeing is this powerful brand new beginning for you you're not seeing it quite yet because you're in that mode of i hate this i want for this to go away i don't need to change i'm good where i'm at you're probably not that's why it's coming in here and hold on to your socks because it's gonna take a while um for the immediate future you get the nine of wands the five of cups and the seven of pentacles so there's going to be a lot of you um, looking back at the past and not liking how that feels. Not liking how that past looks like. You know, there's going to be a lot of you not wanting to look at the past, but it's still going to come up for you. And you're going to feel eh, not that great. But there's this need and this you're still going to work on it. You're still going to put in the work on what it is that's showing up for you because the universe has got its claw on scorpio it's like you're not moving until you start working on things and you're gonna you know you're gonna resist you're gonna resist but then you're gonna be like oh screw this i'm tired i'm gonna do this so let's see Let me clarify the lovers. The Eight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. So at this point, I'm feeling like any kind of communication that's going on back and forth, possibly, uh, between the two of you is making you really, really happy. Because again, can't stop emphasizing this you're going through a crappy time right now so that whatever kind of communication there is between the two of you even if it's through dreams it doesn't even have to be physical it brings you that spark of happiness right um because you're still feeling there's a lot of feelings there for you still for this connection so let's see 
let me clarify the uh, Knight of Wands there in your recent past. The Devil, the Nine of Wands, and the Five of Cups. You are still feeling a lot of things again for this person. And I feel like that actually brought you a lot of pain, which is telling me that possibly the two of you, um, maybe there was some separation of some sort or something. I don't feel like this person was near you when you are still feeling very much attracted to this person and a lot of love. Because it, it was it was almost making you mad that you were still feeling this, these things, you know? Not denying them, seeing them, feeling them, but being mad that you felt that way still. Because I see a lot of waiting there with nothing happening. And I see you going through a lot because you still have a lot of, had a lot of feelings. Um... Let's go to this Ten of Wands here in the current situation. There's um, not much in your recent past. Just you feeling a lot of st stuff, mixed emotions here. For the Ten of Wands, you get the Seven of Cups, the uh, Nine of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. So... It's looking like you do have options, but nothing that you feel is working out. There's a lot of burdens, a lot of pain still. Even though, again, it's looking like you do have options. You're uh, you're trying. You're trying your best here to bring some sort of balance in your life, though. You know? You're hiding a lot of pain these days, Scorpio, it's looking like. Let me clarify the Temperance card. The Knight of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Empress. You're waiting. You're waiting. You're still waiting for this person to open up to bring you love. Still waiting. There's still a lot of waiting going on, and there's still going to be a lot of waiting for this. This is what's not letting you move on. You still holding on to this hope that this person is going to come back. I'm not saying that they are or that they're not. I'm saying you hoping for it is it's keeping you stuck. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Death card. You're going to stop resisting. You're going to stop resisting this change that's happening in your life. And you're going to start working and building something brand new for you, a brand new life. You're done. You're done here with resisting. Let me clarify the uh, Nine of Wands in your immediate future. The Ace of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. Um, you know where you need to start. It's a lengthy process for you because um, you don't want to accept certain things. You don't want to accept that maybe it is over, you know? Maybe for now, maybe forever. Nobody knows. But what you're dealing with now is this. Now the fact possibly is that this is over. And that's making things hard for you, not accepting that, you know? And I feel like you're you're finally going to start looking at it. You're finally going to start um, 
dropping those burdens, there's a lot of burdens that you're carrying here, a lot of them, and you're going to start working on the fact that maybe it is over, you know, and that's going to help you out, that's going to help you move on, that's going to open you up towards new things. Five of Cups here in your immediate future. Let's see. The Emperor, the Two of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, there's gonna come a uh, there's gonna be a period of time here where your healing is actually gonna start, and it's gonna be strong. It's gonna place you into feeling empowered eventually and feeling good, independent, all on uh, all on your own and being good with that. Just putting in some work towards you being okay with this. You're going to start soon to work on these things. And it's, um, it's a lot of things that you've been putting on for quite some time. And instead, you spent this time in pain. You know? Let me clarify the Seven of Pentacles here. Yeah, it's starting. I feel like you won't exactly know how to start to change things in your life and things like that. It's that beginner kind of phase, right? Where you don't know what's next, what you should start with. What do you do, you know? Uh, but again, this is going to pass where this confusion of where do I start and things like that. And it... Uh, you're changing your life. You're taking control of your life and you're changing it. You're going to start to put in the work here. So uh, let's see. Let's uh, see what the universe has for you. The Queen of Swords, the Nine of Swords and the Judgment card. The universe is yelling at you. Like, hey, come on, come on, come on, it's time to do this. Because you spent quite some time in here feeling guarded, feeling defeated, feeling possibly depressed, anxious, nothing working out and things like that. And the universe is right there telling you, well, you can change all that. You know, you just need to start facing these fears, this anxiety, whatever's causing you this, you know. So you are starting. It's going to be tough, but it's going to be rewarding as hell. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this helped and I'll see you next time.